The Battle of Skozau took place in late January 1919, during the Polish-Czechoslovak War. Czechoslovak units were halted only under pressure from the Entente. The result of the war was to set a new demarcation line, which extended the territory controlled by Czechoslovakia. Battle was stopped by the Czechoslovak Minister of Defense near the town of Skozau, Poland and a ceasefire was signed. The Czechoslovak offensive in the Duchy of Tyskin began on January 23. Due to the ongoing Polish-Ukrainian war and Greater Poland Uprising, and the budding Polish-Soviet War, the bulk of the Polish armed forces was located in other provinces of the country. As a result of the Czechoslovak offensive, weak Polish forces near Cheshire were forced to retreat east and northwards. To avoid encirclement, on 26 January, the Polish forces evacuated Cheshire. Colonel Franciszek Latinik, who commanded Polish forces in the area, created a defensive line along the Vistula, from Strumian in the north to Ostron in the south. Above all, Latinik wanted to prevent the enemy from breaking through to Bielsko Biwa and Zivieks. On 23 January 1919 at 11 o'clock in Cheshire Silesia, at the request of the Czechoslovak party, Latinik and Czechoslovak officer Joseph Sinjadek met with a group of officers, consisting of English, French, Italian and U.S. representatives. The Polish side was given an ultimatum to evacuate the area to the Biwa River in less than two hours. After the expiry of this period the Czechoslovak army started its operations at 1300 hours following its operational guidelines to seize Bohumín and Karvina. The Czechoslovak army moved forward, and took Bohumín, all over Karvina. Polish troops retreated to the river Vistula. On the next day, first clashes took place near Skozau. After a fierce defense, the Poles withdrew to Ostron and Drogo Meisel. On January 30, the Czechoslovaks broke through Polish lines near Strumian. Czechoslovak officer Joseph Snjdek received the order to cross the Vistula and secure the railway line between Bohumín and Jablunkov. They crossed the river the Polish troops retreated to Skozau, where the front line was stalled. Further Czechoslovak reinforcements arrived, which gave Snjdek an advantage over the Polish units. The Czechoslovak army prepared for an attack on Skozau on the assumption that there had been a collapse of the Polish defences. On 31 January 1919, because of pressure from the Triple Entente representatives, the attack on Skozau was cancelled, and the Czechoslovak army ceased fighting. The Czechoslovak army withdrew to the new Green Line, established by the International Commission Agreement on the basis of the Czechoslovak-Polish Treaty, concluded on 3 February 1919 in Paris. The Battle of Skozau is commemorated on the tomb of the unknown soldier, Warsaw, with the inscription Cheshire, Skozau 23-26 I-1919.